Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel, CryptoPix. So today is a super special video. It's my first video ever where you get to actually see me. So I hope this makes my video a bit more entertaining and you get to enjoy them a little bit more. Well, let's get going on my PTMG analysis today. It's on what I consider to be the top ICO for November, one that I am super excited about, super hyped about. It's Quantum Stamp. Let's get started. So what does PTMG stand for? First is the problems they solve, the project idea, the potential for generating revenue, the team, the marketing, the market cap, and the short slash long-term goals. Now before I used to do project idea first, but I decided that it just makes more sense to do the problems I solve first and then kind of give you the idea that they're trying to accomplish to solve these problems. And of course, today's PTMG analysis is on my top coin for November, Quantstamp. If I said that wrong, I'm sorry. So the problems that Quantstamp is trying to solve. So they state that the blockchain contracts are not secure. And in June 2016, a hacker stole $55 million in Ether coins from a bug in the smart contract. And in July 2017, another hacker stole $30 million in Ether, in Ether from uh, crypto companies due to a one word bug in the smart contract. So they want to address security issues like the one mentioned above that really hurt the mass adoption of Ethereum network. It breaks the trust of the smart contract. Also, current efforts to validate smart contracts are inadequate. The process is expensive and error prone. Also, relying on a company requires the trust of their employees and making sure that they have no bad actors in the company, which is also not reliable. And the number of dollars locked in small, smart contracts will grow exponentially as Ethereum network and smart contract adoption grows. So the project idea of Quantstamp, the, the Quantstamp platform is a automated service based on blockchain technology for performing security audits of smart contracts. QSP maintains a history of security ports that are generated whenever an audit of a smart contract is requested. The Quantstamp network stores all reports in a decentralized database, which is updated by a decentralized consensus. The QSP token is the key to access the software services. So there are two parts to this protocol. There's automated and upgradable software verifications, and then there's the automated bounty payout system that rewards human participants for errors in smart contracts. The purpose of the system is to bridge the gap while moving towards the goal of full automation. So to summarize the project idea, Basically, they want to. They're a specialized network that connects developers, investors, and users around a transparent and scalable proof of audit. Their network acts as a critical piece of transparency by enabling automated checks on smart contract vulnerabilities and automatic rewarding verifiers who identify the bugs. The their token allows a platform to operate in a scalable and fully decentralized fashion, delivering computation fees to verify to verifier nodes and bounties for locating these vulnerabilities. So the potential for generating revenue, this is kind of like what the token is used for. So the protocol relies on a distributed network of participants to migrate the efforts of bad actors, provide the required computing power, and provide governance. The purpose of the token are to enable automatic software verification services within the ecosystem. Each participant uses the protocol token to pay for, receive, or improve upon verification services and below are the different types of participants. First is contributors. They receive tokens as an invoice for contributing software for verifying programs. These most contributors will be security experts and contributions are voted in via the governance mechanism. Then there's the validators receive uh, QSP tokens for running the Quantstamp node a specialized node in the Ethereum network. Third is bug finders, which receive the token as a bounty for submitting bugs, which break smart contracts. 
And finally, there's the contract creators, which pay QSP tokens to get their smart contract verified. Now, one of the most important aspects is the team. This a lot of times will signify the potential that they have to succeed. So with the Quantstamp team, they have what I consider three superstars. First is going to be Steven Stewart, which he has the first star. This is kind of how I signify who's a superstar and who's not. He's the co-founder and CTO. He worked as a computer system analyst for a Canadian Department of National Defense for five years. And that right there made him a superstar in my book. Next is Vaji. He's a senior software engineer and he was a software development engineer at Amazon. Anybody that has Amazon Google experience pretty much automatically a superstar to me because it showed that they had the, the skills to be considered and hired by one of the top companies in IT. And their final superstar is Prite. <laughs> He's the lead backend engineer. He worked at Barclays as a software engineer and at Samsung as a software engineer. So those three superstars are what make this team actually really good. I like to look for at least one. Three, it, three is pretty good. Any more than that, it's just like, holy crap, this is a crazy, crazy team. Now for the advisors, I had two superstars and one star. You can tell which one's the star because I, I make it a little bit smaller. Uh, Min Kim is going to be their star. The other two are the superstars. So Evan Chang, he is definitely their superstar. He is one of the top advisors I've seen. He's the director of engineering at Facebook, and he was a senior manager at Apple. That's, that's pretty good experience to me. Second is Dr. Vijay. He was a research scientist at MIT for five years. I mean, it's one of the top schools in the country. Superstar to me. Finally, Min Kim. She's just a star. Uh, basically, she currently is the chief of staff at Civic. So I gave her a star for that experience. Now for their marketing. First, their Telegram. Super active. Has community links. Announcements. Uh, the team is there. You can ask all the questions you want. A lot of time, they redirect you to their medium which is also super active. This one probably has the most information you can find. Since they're doing a proof of care, they're gonna have a lot of, of articles from different people of the community, the, the CEO. There's gonna be a lot of information here to basically tell you everything you need to know if you can't already find it on YouTube or the website. Their Twitter. Super active also, if you look three hours, three hours, they're, they're definitely posting all the time, showing you what, with announcements, links to their articles, pretty much anything you could find. The only weird thing I found in their marketing was their YouTube. So, so Quantstamp uses Richard Ma as their YouTube channel. I thought that was kind of weird they didn't make their own, but this is where you can get some updates it's not updated regularly they have one five days ago obviously you can see there's not many videos also with their marketing 30 percent of their token allocation is going to go towards marketing and like community marketing competition i really couldn't find any competition for them if you know any please reach out to me i would love to hear it and i will pin it on my comments below let me know now what a lot of you are interested in is the market cap. So they have a 650 million circulating supply during the token sale. 1 billion total supply and their hard cap is 30 million. That includes both the pre-sale and the crowd sale. The token price is around 5 cents. The pre-sale is kind of unique here, which I thought is kind of cool. They have a proof of care. You have to you have to basically show why you should be on the pre-sale or kind of give them a reason that they should add you to the pre-sale which i think is awesome so to break down their bonuses and i'm going to base these prices on 300 dollars ethereum i know it's up right now at least i think it is that's what I, I like to to do it just so it's consistent between my videos so first is carrying level one only three million dollars one ether equals ten thousand tokens 
which equals about three cents and that closes on October 21st so if you're gonna do your proof of care you need to do it as soon as possible so you can get in on their best deal next is carrying level two there's four million one ether is gonna equal seven thousand tokens that closes October 24th and then carrying level three one ether equals six thousand tokens that closes October 30th after all those are done the crowd sell which will have the biggest dollar which is 19 million one ether will only equal 5,000 tokens so obviously the best time to get is level one crowd sell six cents you're getting it about half price which is obviously important if you're trying to make money here <laughs> granted if you don't get in any of the bonuses I still think this is a great great token promising token that I would not pass up the chance if I were you so this part is the short slash long-term goals is usually a little bit longer I'll try to speed it up they have two types of roadmaps first is the production phases as you can see here you have the design then the prototype which is happening now then we have testing starting 2018 we have the production and then network v2 coming in April 2019 if you want to pause it scroll down there's a lot more information and also their website shows all this and their white paper so to begin what they had as the roadmap we have 2017 november they're going to complete the third semi-automated audit with another company they're going to have the token launch which we're doing right now and then they're going to begin their university partnership with the university at waterloo december they're going to build the quantum stamp validation slash payment smart contract on ethereum and then complete their fourth audit then 2018 january build the quantum stamp validation node then 2018 February they're gonna add analysis software version 1 to the node that returns the proof of audit hash and raw output then they're gonna complete their fifth audit using the analysis software March they're gonna begin the testing phase and improvement of crypto economic incentives also implement the token holder governance systems for the upgradable protocol in April they're gonna deploy their test network after testing and validating the system and then they're going to begin their academic review of the system then in july 2018 they're going to hold their token holder vote for mainnet after months of testing and initial incentive adjustments august they're going to release mainnet version one september begin working on the distributed sat consensus uh, for mainnet two october they're going to add smart contract insurance alpha production on mainnet smart contracts in May, they're going to hold their first quantum, quant stamp hackathon. In June, they're going to begin work on smart contract insurance with partners. So this is a pretty extensive roadmap. I love to see this because it shows they have clear goals, especially here. They have clear goals for every month. A lot of times, they're like three goals throughout the whole year. This one is super concise, super exciting. We can watch them hopefully succeed in all their milestones every month. So to summarize QuantStamp, they have amazing potential and is my personal most hyped ICO of November, especially if you can get in the pre-sale. Their idea is great and definitely needed in the crypto space to make smart contracts more secure and minimize vulnerabilities. They have a superstar team with superstar advisors, also have a clear and extensive goal list as I just mentioned above. I feel this is the best ICO of November, just like I did with WanChain in October. And I will definitely be putting as much as I can in this ICO, kind of pending on which part of the pre-sale I get in, if I even get in. Um, invest wisely and do your own research. Well, this is my PTMG analysis of my top ICO for November. It's my first video where you get to see my face. Hopefully it was entertaining. Any suggestions, any feedback is always welcomed. I appreciate all you guys commenting and liking. Please, if this video helped you at all, press the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.